Dia de los Muertos is more popular than ever in Mexico and increasingly abroad. Day of the Dead is not a Mexican version of Halloween. Although related, the two events differ greatly in traditions and tone. Whereas Halloween is a dark night of terror and mischief, Day of the Dead festivities unfold over two days in an explosion of color and life-affirming joy. Sure, the theme is death, but the point is to demonstrate love and respect for deceased family members. Day of the Dead is an extremely social holiday that spills into the streets and public squares at all hours of the day and night. People dress up as skeletons and that's part of the fun. People of all ages have their faces artfully painted to resemble skulls and mimicking the Calavera Katrina, they don suits and fancy dresses. Today, we will be creating our masks inspired by this celebrated holiday. So for today, you are going to need a paper towel, a paintbrush, and a placemat. So when you receive your mask back, I want you to think about what kinds of colors you might want to do. Today, we're going to be painting our face with one color. And then next time, we'll add more colors and start designing and making it a little bit more detailed and awesome. I chose a blue, so I'm gonna get this little cup of blue. It does have a lid on it. When you are ready to start painting, you're going to take that off. Also, please make sure that you have a cup of water nearby. When you're ready, you're gonna go into the paint and you can start painting your mask. But what I want you to really notice is that it's not fully covering up the white. So we might need to add some more layers. So today is gonna be all about painting in layers. So you may have to paint thin first. So paint thin first, let it dry a little bit, and then add another layer. So here's that very first area that I noticed I could see through the paint. So it's been a couple minutes. I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna add more and make that layer a little bit more thick. So that's why we added that thin layer first, not gooping a whole lot on yet. And now I'm going back and making it look a little bit more pretty. Once you are completely done coloring your mask with one color, remember next time we're gonna add those details and make it more fun, you need to put your paintbrush in the water cup and then wait for whoever's using the water cup to finish next. Then you need to take your mask to the back counter. You need to carry it with the placemat, so I, I can't do it right now because I'm holding the camera with one hand, but you would take it with both hands like a tray and take it to the back counter. Like this. Then make sure that your lid is on top of your paint and then take it to the sink where you found it. And then also take your water cup with the paint brushes, follow the green arrows, all the way around, you know how I am guys. And you can place that in the sink for me to clean later and leave your paint on the counter. 